Hello there, this is Alejandro and in this tutorial we will see how to create a mini room. So this is a very cool concept in which you see a simplified version of a room describing certain styles, certain objects or elements that could be related to a person, right? So in this particular tutorial we will be creating this room that you can see here. So you can see that um, if you click one of the buttons here you can actually switch between different colors. So we will see how to create this entire mini room from scratch on a spline. All right, so let's begin. All right, so the first step is going to build the walls of our room. So I'm going to use the base and rectangle that we had here, but I'm going to change the size to be 400 and 400 here, and the corner to be four, and the extrusion to be 22, the bevel and the bevel size will be four. Then I'm going to switch to a font lighting and now I'm going to press command D twice to duplicate this object so we can have three because we have three walls and then I'm going to select the first one again and I wanted to move it minus 200 units in the C axis. Then I'm going to toggle on the second wall and I'm going to rotate this object to be something like minus 90 so then we can move it in this direction here so it's going to be 200 as well and then finally we enable the dust well and we rotate it 90 degrees and then we move it 200 units as well so that's going to be 200 here but in the negative direction right so you can see that now we have uh, the three uh, the three walls of our of our room but um, actually I want this this wall in, in here to be uh, a little small so I'm going to change the size to be and then um, I want the position of those to be minus uh, 20 and also here it's going to be minus 20 so now we have a better balance there between the walls and the floor so I'm going to change my my background color to be something like this so I can see better and I'm also going to change the color of the walls for now so it's going to be uh, a new material asset here it's going to be walls let's call it walls you can double click on the asset to enter the renaming mode and then um, I'm going to change the color to be more bright and let's use an overlay here and let's also apply this color to this to these uh, walls in here by dragging the, the color there. Let's make it just a little less. Uh, all right, so I want the corner of these walls to be round, so I'm going to double click and then I'm going to select that corner and it's going to put here 50. So the same here, it's gonna be 50. And finally here, it's gonna be also 50. All right. And also finally going to move the light to be maybe pointing in a different direction. I think something like this could work like that. Yeah. All right. So now that I have my three walls, I'm going to start planning the layout of the room. So I'm going to click here on the green button to go to the top. Let's also change a little bit the color so it's not so bright. So maybe something like this. All right, so you can see that my room uh, matches perfectly the grid, so I'm going to start like um, making some elements here. I know that I want a table to be something like this, so let's just try that. Let's just build um, a table there, and it's gonna be, yeah, I think something along the line. And I'm going to change this to font. And I want the radius to be something like maybe something like 12 and then the extrusion could be maybe something like 13 and then here we can have something like 2 and maybe 2 there as well so we have let's say this is our our table so let's go back to the top again we know that we need some legs for this table so I'm going to use for that the cylinder so I'm going to click here and select the cylinder and create a couple of items in here let's change the color so we can see it better there there 
right so then command d duplicate can move it to the other side select the two of them holding shift and then command d to duplicate those two and then we move them to the other side and then we select all of the four uh, cylinders and then we can change the size in y now that is all good we can move it to the bottom to be all good one thing i want to do is i want to disable the snapping and then i'm going to select my cylinders again and get to move it a little slightly there so maybe this is going to be more like 85 and then i'm going to select the table and to put it like this and maybe we can have a little bit of corner here maybe like two and that should be working fine already right now that i have my table i want to create a plant so let's go back to the top here i know that the plant is going to be covering this space so i'm going to use a cylinder so it's going to be something like this i think and what I want to do for this cylinder is that I want to change it to only eight segments because I'm going to convert this to an editable polygon object. So let's click here in the smooth and edit. Now I have an object that looks like this. Let's increase the subdivision a little too. So I'm going to press on the top button here that says loop cup so I can create uh, loops and then I can click here and then I move this to the bottom like this and then I create another loop and then I move it to the top like this and then I want to select all of the ones in the points in the bottom part so I click here on the vertex icon and then I select all of the bottom uh, points and then I'm going to click here on the little dot and holding shift I'm going to change the scale of this so it's going to be something like this I think that's fine then um, one thing that I want is that I'm going to go to the edge mode and I'm going to select these ones in here and then I, by double clicking I can select the entire loop and then I can do again click on the, the little dot and hold shift and then we can compensate these so yeah something like this should work all right so for here in the top what I want is that uh, so I'm going to select here the face and what I want is I want to select all of the top faces here and then I'm going to press the inset function so I can then press here and create an inset and then I'm going to press in it's true here and I'm going to it's true to the bottom once and then again twice all right so now that I have something like that that's fine then let's look this from the top Right, so we can see how it is. I actually think that we can perhaps uh, change this a little bit to be more um, like this. So I'm going to disable the subdivision. I'm going to select all of these vertices. I'm going to make it a little smaller like this. So we can have a bigger border. And also, uh, let me just enable the subdivision again. Uh, I also want to increase the sharpness in here a little so I add in like a little extra there and I want to create a circle here and the reason for this is because I want to have soil and this is going to be representing the soil so it's going to be something like this and now let's work on the actual plant so I can just create a cube here and then I'm going to press and smooth and edit and increase the subdivision maybe a little more and what I want is that I want to maybe make this a little like I can select these two faces by holding shift and then I can change the scale and what I want is I want to move this to the top in here so this is going to be like some sort of leaf right but I want a subdivision in the middle so I click on the loop cup and then I create a subdivision right there then I select the top one and then I change the scale a little bit maybe also in the other direction so yeah, that's not looking bad but i think in general this should be like a little more uh flat here so i'm going to select these two faces with chief and then something like that should work now i'm going to change the the points so we can make some sort of cure so i'm going to click on the vertex and then i'm going to move the points a little and now uh, we can also move these points like this so we can have certain like, curvature 
Okay, I think that's looking better. So now let's put this object here in the bottom part. And perhaps we can move this a little like this. So I'm going to go to the top part and uh, I, what I want is that I want to duplicate this a couple of times, command D, uh, or you can choose drag and press command while dragging to create another copy. And then I'm just going to rotate in different positions and then another one here. So I think something like this, I'm going to change a little bit of the size in some of this. So I want this to be something along like this, right? Maybe another one could be, and if we change the rotation a little, we can insert another one. So this is not so perfect, right? As you can see there, that's fine. You can also make it smaller and maybe we can duplicate it again and put it on the other side and just move it a little bit there. Okay, so that's the plan. And let's make, oh, now let's select all of those uh, by holding shift and then press command G to create a group. And this is gonna be our plant. And now uh, you can press uh, shift and make this smaller like this. Just click and drag to make it smaller. So yeah, I think something like that should, should be working fine. All right. So now we have a plan and also we have a table. So what else what we can do? So the initial design contained like a carpet. So I'm going to create a carpet, click pressing here on the oval, and then I'm going to drop a carpet here. So it should be like a really big carpet, something like this should, should work just fine. Um, then I'm going to change this to font and I'm going to press command D to duplicate and I'm going to make this one smaller something like this and let's also make it a little bright there so we can you know have something that makes more sense and uh, now uh, I know that I will need some boxes uh, that are gonna be below the table so let's just create a couple of cubes right there something like that let's change a little the size maybe the orientation something like that uh, if, you, if you press on the little circles you can move this object like in this plane so it's not going to go up so I'm just gonna do that put it there and it's just a little bit more smaller that's just too much something like that and duplicate it again with command D so we can put something similar in this other side but this one could be smaller maybe something like that yeah that should work all right so I know that I also want a window here. So for the window, I'm actually going to use a different object, which is a plane. So I'm going to create the plane in here. So I also know that the window should be starting above from the table. So actually this table, it could be maybe a little more like this. I think that probably looks better. And oops. And now if I select the, this plane, I want to change it to one segment here. And then I'm going to press a smooth and edit. And let's remove the subdivisions. Um, because it's just one face. I want to, basically what I want is to create an inset extrusion by pressing here an inset. And then it's gonna be something like this. And once we have the border, I want to change the scale a little to be more uniform on the sides and then I'm going to press on the extrusion tool and I'm going to extrude uh, backwards. Actually before doing that I want to select all of the faces and extrude everything to the front like this and then only the initial face in the front I'm going to push it back by extruding to the back. So I'm also going to create a rectangle here and this is going to be the color of the window so we can put it right there yeah let's also maybe put some color there like a window yeah let's say that's a window and um i want to change the visibility mode to flat so this is using more like flat colors so for now this is going to be our window we can also have like a intermediary position in the window something like this um so windows actually are like this so 
can choose now change this and let's say that yeah that should be go right and put it something like that that should work all right so that's our window and we know that we will have two picture frames so let's just create like the frames in there and also one in here I also want to have like some like a board in here so I'm just going to draw some rectangles there for the board um, I want also a sphere right here in the bottom part so this is gonna be like a good place there for a sphere be right there and we can also add here I want uh, like some books right but this is not gonna be like detailed books just basically it's just like a bunch of cubes or something like that that look like books um, so easily let's press S to focus on this cube and let's just change the size of this maybe something like this you can see it kind of looks like a book it's not necessarily a book um, let's just increase the size just a little bit and uh, maybe we can duplicate this one as well maybe something like that um, and then you know again duplicate this one and maybe this could be like a smaller book or something yeah so I think that should work let's also select these two and let's increase the corners here to be two or maybe just one yeah something like that should be good enough I think just smaller and there it is so that's gonna be our books right there let's move it just right to to there so they they're mostly like close there um, I want to create a group for my table so I don't move it by mistake so I'm going to select all of the legs and the table and then I'm going to Chrome and G to create a group and this is gonna be table so this way I can move the table so going to the top here I know that I want my table to be pretty much close there um, for these groups for these books I also am going to create a group and then I'm going to move them right there so it's going to be just uh, books All right. so now I have a little bit more detail on this scene I think I need to have like round corners in here as well this is going to be maybe more like four I think that's just fine Okay, it seems like we are in a pretty good shape here. So in the next tutorial, we will continue creating the rest of the objects so we can finish the model of the room.